Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another FX tutorial. I'm going to show you all my personal preferences when it comes to achieving the best resolution possible when rendering to 1080p 60 frames per second. Despite this video using Vegas Pro 16, you can still apply these same settings in older versions of Vegas. First off, I usually customize the property settings by clicking this gear icon. You guys don't actually have to do this part since the program renders everything in accordance to the settings we pick when we adjust the render as settings but I like to edit my videos as how they will come out. On the video tab, you can create a 1080p 60fps template by making sure the width and height is set to 1920 by 1080 and setting the frame rate to double NTSC or simply typing in 60 in that box. Next, set the pixel format to 32-bit instead of 8-bit. You can get slightly better colors using the 32-bit mode. Then, set the full rendering quality to best motion blur tab to Gaussian, and resample mode to disable resample. After you name your template, go ahead and click the floppy disk icon to save it all. Then click apply and ok. On your timeline, go set the quality best setting to full. Vegas will automatically render everything on your timeline unless you specifically highlight certain parts of your project. All you will need to do is hold your mouse down at one point and drag it to another point. Everything highlighted will be rendered only. But, in this case, I want everything to be rendered. Moving on, go to File, Render As, and make sure you're under Magic's AVC AAC MP4. The one I personally customize is this choice right here. You can see that right next to it, it says NVIDIA NVENC. This allows a much faster render time, but it's only usable if you have the right graphics card. If you don't have it, I recommend just customizing the template above. When you select your option, click on Customize Template. In here, you will need to set the variable bitrate. And if you want, set the preset down here to high performance or just leave it on default. Here's a quick tip on how you can set the average and max VBR. I'm going to go to one of the video clips I used and right click it to select Properties. You can find the information of the total bitrate in the Details tab. It looks like it averages to around 58. So going back to our settings, I'm going to set the average to 50 and maximum to 60. This will help keep the quality of the video as close as it can to the original footage. I've noticed dips in quality when I decide to use a considerable amount lower than the original video bitrate. After setting your bitrates, go to the project tab and change the video rendering quality to best. Then customize the name of the template, save it, and then click OK. When you head to the bottom, it will show you the templates you created, and if you click render options, you'll have the choice of selecting render loop region only. That's if you highlighted a certain segment in your project beforehand. Next, choose the location to save the video in, name it, and finally, go ahead and click render. Alright guys, if this tutorial helped you out, leave a like on the video, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Be sure to check out my other Vegas tutorials and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The film scene on the timeline in this video will be in the description as well. As always, happy editing.